All right, in here we've got a, uh, a nice bedroom, a very large room. It's about uh, 22 feet long by 12 feet wide. It does have the egress window so that this is a code approved bedroom. All right, we can get out this window, get out there to that little ladder and get up into the yard. You have to have one of these windows like this or a door, an exterior door in a sleeping area, in a bedroom uh, in order to call it a bedroom and to use it as a bedroom. All right, um, down this end here, we've got a big six foot closet door. And in here, we hid some of the stuff that uh, were some obstacles at the beginning of the job. We've got the uh, water meter in here. I just put a piece of plywood up there so that if they ever have to get in there, they can just take, take these two screws out here and get in there to service that. But I cut a hole in it so that if they have to get in here quick and shut off the water in an emergency, they can. Uh, we also had the panel box in here. All right, that's in here, as well as behind another wood panel, we have a clean out that goes to the main sewage lateral. All right, so that's all inside that closet. And then we, uh, we framed around the panel box, we framed around the water meter and the, uh, the water uh, sewage lateral clean out cap, drywall this closet, and then uh, put in some closet made system back here so that this turned into a really nice big uh, seven foot closet by about uh, 30 inches deep. So they picked up a nice finished closet in this room. All right, we made a bathroom in this basement. Uh, two entrances, one coming in from the bedroom here. All right, a 36 inch vanity in here. A standard elongated toilet and a uh, five foot shower with sliding glass doors All right. and that was the entrance in from our bedroom private entrance in here if you're entertaining out in the rest of the basement you can slip into the bathroom unnoticed and then back out this side we go back out into the uh, into the finished basement area, into the bar area. And there's our bar. And down around here we have the storage room where we built some uh, heavy duty metal shelving back here to organize the homeowner's personal belongings. Uh, we put their spare refrigerator back here. We've got the dehumidifier in here, the water heater as well as the uh, sump pump door. Okay, we're just wrapping up this job here today. You can see the stairway was finished. Uh, we carpeted the standard basement steps and they just go up to a landing and then it turns and goes up to the first floor and there you can see we've got one of our um, signature full light doors at the top of the stairs that we put on every job. We take off the standard door and we put one of these on to let light into the stairway and just to uh, make the basement a little bit more inviting at the, at the, at the staircase. I think they're, they're a nice touch. And out here in the main area, we have a, a two-tier wet bar. It's about a seven by eight foot bar. Um, it'll accommodate about six bar stools. Granite solid surfacing top. And that's kind of like the central point of this basement theme. Uh, we've got a bank of cabinets behind the bar with a tile backsplash, seven foot long, one foot deep. Regular base cabinets, an ice maker. A double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet and sprayer, counter circuits, GFI circuits, and a uh, wine cooler underneath the bar top, and then a beverage refrigerator at this end, beer, soda. It holds about six, seven cases. All right, and this top right here is only 12 inches deep to maximize the space that we had here. We had a column right there that we had to work around so this bar couldn't come out any further into the room. 
So we had to make this back wall of cabinets one foot deep and we just used standard wall cabinets. And we do have a video at basementfinishingvideos.com that we show you uh, step, step for step how to build uh, this exact bar. If you're interested you can go to basementfinishingvideos.com and look for our bar series. Out here we got an open area. Uh, it's going to be used for a billiard table and a sitting area. We use the uh, Shaw Resilient Flooring, uh, synthetic flooring. This isn't real wood, this is synthetic flooring. Um, comes in six by five pieces and it was all put together tongue and groove. And uh, it's mildew resistant and waterproof. It's a great product, you can get that at Lowe's. And over here we had one last little area which we turned into a home theater area. And uh, you see the homeowners are already moved into that area right now. One last thing, we had a big six foot closet up this end here and inside we hid the mechanicals. We have the furnace in there. Uh, the whole works is right inside there, neatly hidden away. And there's plenty of room with this big six foot door to uh, remove the furnace if need be for full service. Uh, get in there and do the filter changes and whatnot. Also back there we have the gas manifold to the house for the fireplaces and the cooking. Uh, stove surface upstairs in the kitchen, all the uh, inlets to the gas come in here as well. So that's all hidden away in a big unfinished area right behind these six foot double doors here. And that's my favorite way to hide mechanicals in the basement. Just put them inside storage closets um, and hide them away with traditional six panel doors or whatever doors you have, match matching doors. We also added a uh, six foot sliding insulated door. Um, we're, it's going to be hardscaped out there up into the yard. You can see we dug that out with a little backhoe and these homeowners are going to be able to get up and out and into the yard. Before that door was put in, we had a window that looked just like the one over here in the home theater area. All right, so we took a window out that looked just like that and cut the concrete wall the rest of the way down to the ground, down to the uh, footer, and we had that door installed. Which uh, really changes the tune and the feel of this basement because now the homeowners can get out of the basement directly to the outside, up into the backyard, uh, where they're gonna have a hardscape patio, a uh, grill, and other things up there that they're gonna be able to use in conjunction with their finished basement. This basement's about 1,200 square feet. And the finished price in this basement, with everything included, bar cabinetry tops, bathroom fixtures, flooring, everything, was right around $45,000, which represents a heck of a bargain um, if you're looking for additional square footage to have something this custom for $45,000 for 1,200 square feet uh, is uh, an exceptional, exceptional way, affordable way, to add um, matching finished living space to your house. And this looks just like any other level of the house. It does not look like a basement. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this job here. This job's in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching.